two seconds out, we've had some major breaking news in the development regarding Connor Ben's legal saga to clear his name after testing positive for performance enhancing substances. Uh, Connor Ben has released a statement on his social media accounts and I'll, if you haven't seen it already, allow me to read it to you. He has said, Today marks the end of a grueling 10-month process during which the WBC have already decided that I was innocent of any wrongdoing. After a hearing with the National Anti-Doping Panel and UCAD, I have now been vindicated for the second time. Hopefully the public and various members of the media can now understand why I have maintained my innocence so strongly all the way through. The UCAD process has now formally ended. I remain free to fight. Naturally, I'm pleased I can now put this behind me once and for all. As you can imagine, the last 10 months have weighed heavily on me, and I'm anxious that if this happened to me, it could potentially happen to any honest, dedicated, and clean athlete like me. I'd like to thank my fans that have kept the faith when many have turned against me, as well as my team, Matchroom, my friends and family, sponsors, and also my legal team, all of whom have shared a belief in me and a commitment to ensuring the correct result being obtained and justice being achieved only with strength of all this support have I been able to continue during this challenging time. I now intend to put this matter behind me and look forward which begins with fighting as soon as possible so I can remind everyone who I am. That was the statement in full from Conor Ben. Of the few details that are available, Eddie Hearn has clarified that Conor Ben has not been cleared via a technicality regarding the jurisdiction of what can be ruled in Conor Ben's case. This is in reports to the Daily Mail's article which stated Conor Ben's defence was centred around the UCAD case uh, and arguments as to if Conor Ben's case is outside the UCAD's jurisdiction because he gave up his British Boxing Border Control licence and whether UCAD can actually rule on drugs testing samples that VADA have collected. So Eddie Hearn has clarified that Conor Ben being allowed to fight in the UK isn't because of a technicality over jurisdiction. Conor Ben had alluded to, in recent days, a judgment being made tweeting out on his social media, a emoji of a judge and a gavel, obviously lending to the idea that a decision was to be made soon. The next steps for Conor Ben will be to put this towards the British Boxing Border Control, who will then decide to re-license Conor Ben to box in the country. But it seems now, with this latest development, Conor Ben is no longer impeded to do so. The resounding note to end on here is that Conor Ben is now clear to fight and uh, we await any further news as to the details as to what has uh, led to this finding. So keep it tuned to Seconds Out, we'll keep you updated with that um, and we'll bring you the news as it comes.